Hi all, welcome to the coding challenge for beginners 2. So in this challenge, we need to swap the first character with the last character in a given string. So here this, we also will see a few edge cases like if the string consists of zero characters, if the string consists of two characters, if the string consists of one character. So let's see all these edge cases as well. So I'm writing a function swap. So we'll call this function swap. So let's take hello as an input. So now we need to get the output as, I mean, we need to swap the last character here, Z-O-E-L-L-H. It means we have swapped H to the law, first character to the last and last character to the first. So this is a, a beginner coding challenge. So let's uh, work it out. So when I call this function, I'm passing this hello string to the value here. So now we need to find the length of this string. We have string has a length property. So now we are finding length for this string. Why we are finding length? Because, so let me tell you the reason. A string has a length property. We are finding length of string because with this length, we need, we'll be extracting the string. So for example, value is a string dot, the string has a property called character at. So I will try to extract the character at. I mean, what does this character at does? If you pass the position, exact position, it will return back that character from that position. For example, here we got the length. Length of the string will be present in the length. So I'm taking length minus one. It means the last character. So now length is five minus one, four. It means I will be getting the O. O character would be present here. The character will take a position like zero, one, two, three, and it will return back the character at that position. Now length minus one, we are getting zero here, O. Now we need to concatenate this with last character. So now I'm con character at zero. If I give the character at zero, it means the first character. We are extracting the first character here. So I'm keeping plus symbol. It means concatenation. Here we'll be getting one string character and here we'll be getting one string character. So I'm trying to concatenate this. So the end output should be like this. So that's the reason. I'm concatenating this. So now fine, we got the, we, we could able to swap the last character to the first and first character to the last. What about the I, I, middle characters? So I, I also need to get these things, right? So I could able to swap O to the first and H to the last. What about ELL -L here? So for that, we have one more property for the strings that is substring like value dot substring so we have a this function substring function which takes if you hover on substring it is saying start and the end end is an optional start means from where exactly substring means it is a uh, from a string substring means it will extract a part of the string so that that is about substring it takes two parameters one is the start position and the other one is the end position. End position can be uh, optional, but uh, we'll take that because we need to extract only till this. So I'm taking substring as one. It means I want to extract only this part from this hello string. I want to extract this part, ELL. -L. So zero, zero is a H and one. So from one, I'm trying to extract the substring. So I have given the start position one and the end position is length minus one. It means last zero. For substring, it will omit. I mean, uh, it will exclude this property. It means uh, now here, if it is four, let me take a sample one. Like uh, if I give substring of, so there is a difference between substring and sub sub st in uh, javascript uh, if i give four here it means it will take one two three 
it will four means it will not take fourth position before four it will be taken so it will uh, exclude the end position that is about the substring it will extract a, a part of string from the start position and the end position so that's the reason i have taken e from e we need to take so i have taken one and length minus one it means four from here it will exclude is the o because we no need the o so it will exclude here so that's the re that's the one so now we got we could able to swap the last last character to the first and first character to the last and we could we could able to extract the substring e l l o and we could able to concatenate these strings now we need to return back this to the calling function so now i could able to return it so we need we could wrap it here We could wrap like this. So now let's check the output. So now, if you see, we could able to get O E E L. So we could able to swap the first character to the last character. So let's check few more inputs like uh, edge cases as we discussed. So now I will uh, change this to H. Oh, so now I need to, I will be getting OH here, right? So again, I will take one more console. Here I will take only one string now. So I mean only one character. So like just H. So what I should get? And now I'm getting HHH. -H -H. So if you observe, I'm getting three H's. But here, if I pass H, so it, it only should return H because here there is no first character and the last character it means again we need to rewrite some code here so if the length if the length is less than two if the length is less than two uh, we can state that we can't do the operation here because uh, we need to extract the first if there are only two characters we we can only return back that value return back that string so now you, you could able to see we got only one h Earlier we used to get h h h three times. So now let let's take one more edge case like a empty string. So while uh, practicing a coding challenge, we need to do like this. We need to sort out all the edge cases. So now if I give empty string also, I will be returning that back. So these this is all about swapping the first character to the last character in a string. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.